Hi, this is Julian for Production Expert, and I've been looking at Evolution from Wave Alchemy, which is a comprehensively equipped drum machine instrument for contact. It's made up of a library of over 25,000 samples, four and a half gigs worth of samples, all presented in a really usable, clever user interface, uh, which uh, we're going to have a look at now. There's an awful lot packed into the user interface of Evolution. Some elements stay in place regardless of where we go. For example, we've got these three buttons in the top left, which give access to each of the main three tabs, and we've got a sound browser which remains in place across the top. At the bottom, we've got a pattern sequencer which shows the sequence on a per-voice basis. But uh, most of the time spent in the mix window, so looking around here quickly, we've got four sub-tabs which give access to uh, the voice and insert, master, and send effects. But the browser is particularly interesting because the sound engine's made up of three elements, drum, transient, and layer, and we can select and layer up three different sounds to make each voice in evolution. Here we've got the kick channel selected, and we're looking at the settings for that. And here in the kick category, we're in mid, and we have all of these sounds available in this subcategory of the kick category. We can also change between them using this select knob. But if we wanted to, we could uh, get into the transient element of that voice. And uh, here we've got a different set of sounds available, and likewise for layer. We can blend between those in the XY tab, which we'll look at in a second. In the XY tab, we've got drum, layer, and transient, and this control point can place and crossfade mix seamlessly between them. So if I wanted just the drum element, for example, as opposed to the layer, and the transient. We've also got eight macros which are assignable. We can set them to whatever we want in here, as well as access to volume pan and send effects. In the sequencer page, we've got access to all 12 tracks in each pattern, or we can go into a macro view where we've got access to uh, the note per voice and also all of the macros that we've set up in the XY page. This way you can do some really detailed editing, but if you want to get really detailed with your editing, then uh, you can export by dragging and dropping from the MIDI export button at the bottom uh, into your DAW and uh, treat the pattern as an ordinary MIDI clip. So what does it sound like? Well, if we hit play, we're playing pattern five from Grayscale. Um, this is a bit busy, frankly, so I'll go to pattern one and uh, here we've got the uh, closed hat lane, so I want to look at the kick, and we'll put together a kick drum sound. So if I come into the XY tab, we can listen to and audition some different drum sounds. Here in the drum element, we're in the solo that maybe. Okay. I think we'll come back here. In the layer, still got that soloed, so we're not hearing what I'm doing. Something like that with a bit of body, maybe. If I want some more options, I can come in here. Actually, I quite like all the sub on there. And then if we come back over here, we have this punchy kick and this very deep sound. We come onto the transient, I'll solo that. Although if I come over here, there's no need to because I'm in effect soloing it anyway. And in here, Maybe a hard click like that. And here I've got kind of halfway between, I've got that deep subby element from the layer with the transient from the transient engine. And if I want to introduce a little bit of that very punchy snare drum. And you see.
you see how quickly using this XY pad you can build up a sound that's just what you're looking for rather than what you've been given. So what do I think of Evolution? I think it's fantastic and it's fantastic for the best possible reasons because it sounds brilliant. I really, really like the kicks and uh, things like this live and die by their kick drum capabilities. And if you can't get a good sounding kick out of this, then there's something badly wrong. Uh, the pattern length is global. You can, I always want to know how easy it is to work in triplets in things like this rather than having to work on sixteenths and stuff. And you can set the rate and the uh, pattern length and chain patterns together and get pretty much any resolution that you want, but all of those things are global. So if you wanted to run, say, 12 steps on the hi-hat against 16 on something else, you can't do that, but apparently that is coming in an update. So again, that's kind of addressed. Overall, though, Evolution, fantastic sounding uh, drums, especially the kicks and all the kind of suzzy little kind of atmospheric sounds that go underneath. If programming beats and synthetic drums is your thing, you have to try this because it really is that good.